So who am I? Kevin Taylor. I'm a retired police officer, did 28 years in the police. I'm a trained hostage negotiator. It's a side that people don't get to see, but it's a side that impacts on everything that we do. Uh, and having used uh, the negotiating skills as a leader, I see the benefit and see how it can be transferred into your world. I work for Handels Bank, and so we actually work for a bank. I'm the digital director at Ahoy. So my job's uh, the online marketing side of things. Many years ago, I used to work for a major oil company and was involved with negotiations there for big contracts. It's four of the exercise, OK? You can't ask questions. That's the only question you can ask. Then I want you to use minimal encouragers to keep that conversation going. The exercise where you communicate without asking questions, it's quite difficult and not, not the usual way of communicating. I think it's good to get people involved and not just sort of listen all the time. Um, I, think it's, I think it's a really good idea. <laughs> I thought they were great. They were so frustrating because you couldn't ask questions. They demonstrated what he was trying to make the points about. Halfway through we were sort of told to do an exercise and then that was elaborated on and we got to do it a lot more. It's listening. Listening is the foundation of what negotiators do. It's about understanding what motivates individuals and listening will allow you to do that. Obviously Kevin's uh, very experienced in negotiation so that, that comes into all aspects of, of business as well. It's really relevant to get this experience to enable us to um, speak to customers and help them with negotiating especially with costs and pricing that we have when we offer our products of sort of mortgages and loans and things like that. So it helps me in the way that I come across to my clients listening to them and being able to respond in a way that helps me get my end goal from, from things as well. We tend not to listen to people, but when you do, you can really influence their behaviour. It's absolutely met the expectations I came for, which was enjoyable, I met some new people and I learned some new things. I think it was a good way to sort of get us all to know each other as well, asking each other sort of what we do in our spare time. I think it's been a good starter for a conversation as well for people who we may not have spoke to before. It was a really interesting talk, a really good speaker. Come along, you can network with people yourselves, you can find new customers in the audience, and it's very relaxed and it's not pushy, and that's why I think it's a good event.